Welcome to Church Boys and Girls. How was your week? I hope you had a great one. I'm happy to be here today and I believe you're happy to be in church as well. Let's close our eyes and pray. Our righteous Father will bless your holy name for today. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, for mommies and our daddies. We thank you for our brothers and our sisters, O oh God. Even as we are here today, we pray, Lord, that you speak to us, O oh God. Teach us yourself. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. What is next, boys and girls? Praise and worship time. Grab your dancing shoes and let's go. Praise God. We'll be right back.
Welcome back boys and girls. I hope you danced. I was so excited. I danced. I danced in the presence of God. Yes. So today we have a wonderful topic. And I know that we've all been learning about things that happened before the birth of Jesus through this month of November. And we're in November already? Yes. Next month is December and I'm sure we're all excited for Christmas, right? Yes. So we've been learning about things that happened before the birth of Jesus. And today we're going to be learning something important as well. Our topic for today is an angel visited Joseph. Say with me, boys and girls, an angel visited Joseph. Again, an angel visited Joseph. Joseph. A friend of ours is going to be reciting our memory verse for us and our memory verse is from the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 25. Make sure you listen boys and girls and recite with our friend. Okay, we'll be back. Memory verse Matthew 1 verse 21. She will give birth to a son and give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sin. Welcome back, boys and girls, and thank you, our lovely friend, for that wonderful memory verse. Well said. Okay, boys and girls, our Bible text for today is from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Teacher is going to be reading just verse 20. And go grab your Bible and read with me. I read Matthew 1 verse 20. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Hmm. So what happened before this verse? We're going to discuss more about that after this video. We'll be right back. The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library. I love to eat books. I live here with my friends, Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Settle down, children. Today I will tell you the most wonderful story of them all. The birth of Jesus Christ. There was once a young man named Joseph who lived in the town of Nazareth. He was a carpenter and was soon to marry a woman named Mary. One night, when he was sleeping, he had a very strange dream. An angel came to him and said, Take Mary as your wife. The child in her is from the Holy Spirit. When the child is born, name him Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. Welcome back, boys and girls. Yes, our topic says an angel visited David. I mean, Joseph, pardon me. An angel visited Joseph. And you know, Joseph was so worried about something because Mary, his wife, had conceived without, you know, Joseph being married. And Joseph was so worried, he was worried about what could have happened to Mary, what is going on with her, you know? And he was so worried, but what happened? He went to bed and an angel of the Lord visited him. Who is an angel, boys and girls? An angel 
is a messenger from God. You know, angels live with God in heaven and they sing Hosanna and Hallelujah to God, praising God all the time. So an angel is a messenger from God. Say that with me, boys and girls. An angel is a messenger from God. So the angel delivered a message from God to Joseph. And after that, Joseph became happy. He listened and did exactly what the angel asked him to do. What lesson are we taking home with us from that passage from our topic today? That God is always with us. When we are worried and troubled, we should just call upon him. You know, God speaks to us in different ways. To us, it might not be that we're going to see an angel, but then we have our Bible, which is the word of God, and we have the Holy Spirit in us all the time. We should listen to God's word, and we should listen when the Spirit of God within us is telling us things from God, you know, giving us messages from God. We should listen and be obedient as children of God. That is the important message from our topic today. And I know you've been blessed, boys and girls. A friend of ours is going to recite our memory verse one more time. Please pay attention, recite along with our friend. We'll be back. Memory verse, Matthew 1 verse 21. She will give birth to a son and give him the name Jesus. He will save his people from their sin. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's been an awesome time in the presence of God, and I'm sure I know you've been blessed. I've been blessed. And we have great lessons to take home today, right? An angel is a messenger from God. Angels are sent from God to give us an important message, and we have to listen and obey. And these days, it might not be an angel. We have the Word of God, and we have the Spirit of God within us. Always listen, read the word of God, and be obedient. I'm sure we had a great time in the presence of God. And let's close our eyes to pray. Our Heavenly Father, we worship and bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for speaking to us, O God. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've said even unto us today. Lord, we we'll pray that you help us to be obedient even unto you. Help us to always listen to that voice within us when your spirit is telling us, even giving us messages from you, God. Help us to be obedient to you at all the time. As we go ahead in this week, Lord, go ahead of us, go with us, and Lord, make this week a beautiful week for us. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Welcome and have a great week, boys and girls. I hope you've been blessed. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. Bye. See you next time.